and welcome to Salvages Reviews and Recommendations. In today's video we're going to be talking about a TV show on Netflix, Squid Game. Now, usually it's not the particular show I would watch. I'm not a big fan of English dubbed shows or shows where it's subtitled. But I gave this show a watch because of the hype surrounding it and I'm glad I did because it's a very good show. Now for those unfamiliar with the show, it's essentially about people who, um, quite a certain amount of people, take a gamble and join this tournament of sorts to win a huge amount of money and the majority of these people are debt ridden and so they're in dire need for this money. Now the, the risks they take, if they win, they get a huge amount of money and yeah, lose in any of these games, death is the consequence. I really enjoyed this show and found it very interesting for many of reasons. The first being that it's interesting to see that as an audience member we get to see their reaction as they realise what type of games and risks and consequences they are going to be facing within this game. And it's, it's just interesting to see that how they respond to it. And another thing I really like about the show is that we get to see that these characters get to have the opportunity to vote to leave and whilst majority do vote to leave we see that I think nearly more than half of the people come back as they are such debt ridden that they need this money. Uh, this show does get a, a lot of complaints about people saying that it's an attack on capitalism. For me personally I see an attack on the elites and how disgusting it is that they would bet on human lives as we would bet on horses. And another thing that I feel that the show is more of a critique on is money and how money can create desperation in all of us. We see certain characters who seem somewhat nice do quite a lot of fucked up shit just to get this money. And if that means taking other people's lives or scamming others, they are willing to do that just to get ahead. But the show does also show the humane side of this, the humanity in some characters, with other characters sacrificing themselves so other characters can go forward, putting themselves into death to an extent. And we see characters, even though they have won and they get to go ahead, they feel so more of a loss as they know that the characters that they've gotten to know and share secrets with, suddenly they're going to die and it's quite moving to an extent. That's why I really like the show, because of the writing with the characters. The characters aren't just one-note type people. They're, they're very everywhere. They're not just so black and white. There's so many grey areas. Another thing I really did enjoy about this is the, the violence that this show shows. Like, I was a bit taken back, and I love violence in TV shows. It's because of the certificate rating on Netflix. With 15s, they usually more or less due to the cursing and swearing rather than the violence but as you can see I thought it would be more more or less not as violent but yeah very good now while I do enjoy the show it doesn't go without its critiques which I think has a few the first being the plotline with the officer who gets on and infiltrates the squid game kind of workforce becoming one particular soldier becoming another getting to the elites but it felt very anticlimactic the way his plotline ended for me personally. Another thing that I'd like, I think is a bit weak is how season two is going to be as unless for some reason the host decides to change up the games there's not going to be anything new or surprising to us as viewers but there wouldn't be, it'd be an odd explanation as to why the host all of a sudden decides to change the games as they're based around his childhood and unless between the last good game to this one he decides to change it it wouldn't really make any sense they'd have to make a dive into that plot and kind of make a good reason as to why the host suddenly has done this but anyway without that i feel like this was a very good watch and i definitely recommend it to you the people i give it a 9 out of 10 and i really do hope you go watch it it's very good <laughs>